Arthritis is a condition that affects an estimated 9 million people in the UK alone. Essentially, it's just an inflammation within the joints of the body. There's several different types of arthritis, but the two that affect the most people are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. Now, these are both very, very different conditions, but essentially they both lead to pain, swelling, and a loss of movement within the joints. Now, it's the inflammation that causes the suffering associated with arthritis. And learning ways to manage this yourself is the key to natural control of this condition. To fully understand how this condition affects the joints, it's worthwhile us learning a little bit more about the structure of the joints and how they work. Now, this ankle joint, this is a prime example of the kind of joint that's commonly affected by both types of arthritis. It's in the category that we call a synovial joint. This basically means that it's freely movable. Synovial joints, such as the ankle, the knees and the elbows, are usually made up of two or more bones that are completely movable. Now, if these were just a collection of bones, it wouldn't take long for these bony surfaces to start to rub together and for the whole lot to wear down and just wear away. To protect the bones within the joint from this occurring, we have several layers of very thick, waxy cartilage that lines all of these movable bones. This cartilage essentially acts like a cushion. It helps the two surfaces to move together nice and smoothly without any of these bone endings wearing down at all. Now, synovial joints, such as the ankle joint, will always be surrounded by a fluid-filled sac known as the synovial capsule. And this capsule essentially helps to hold all of these moving components in place. And the fluid within it also works as a natural lubricant for all of these movable parts. Osteoarthritis, also known as degenerative arthritis and degenerative joint disease, is essentially a mechanical breakdown of the articular cartilage. This is the cartilage that I spoke about that lines all of these bony endings. It's the natural cushioning for the movable parts within the joint. Now clinically, this will present itself as stiffness, pain, and a certain degree of swelling within the joint. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these movable parts within the joint are covered by a, a waxy, protective cartilage to actually cushion the two ends of the movable parts of the joint. Now, if this begins to break down, before long we actually get areas of exposed bone. As soon as that starts to happen, you've essentially got two bony surfaces rubbing together. That in itself causes stiffness and creaking in the joint. Now, if small chips of bone do actually start to come away, they can start to float around within the synovial sac. When this happens, this triggers a bit of an alarm response from our immune system, and suddenly we get a rush of white blood cells starting to attack those small chips of bone, and swelling starts to arise. Now also, if these little areas of bone are exposed, the first thing the body does is start to lay down fresh bony tissue, and that can even lead to small spurs of bone growing out within, to, within the joint. And this is what we call an osteophyte. And sometimes this is what can be responsible for the sharp pain that some arthritics experience with osteoarthritis. The little spur of bone is actually pushing out into the joint and compressing on other tissues. This degradation of the articular cartilage can arise for many reasons. It could be injury, but in most cases, it's usually age related. As we age, the actual thickness of the cartilage starts to reduce. This is because the water content actually starts to decline. There's several compounds that we produce in our body naturally that actually control the level of moisture within our cartilage. Now, these compounds actually start to decrease as we get older. So it's a natural progression that this cartilage gets thinner and thinner, and the normal day-to-day -day wear and tear on that joint can actually lead to 